California brothers and sisters. How's everybody doing this morning? I had a very interesting dream last night. I was at uh, I was at a party, and it was a very classy, high scale party. It was in a mansion. And I remember a lot of powerful people being there. I don't know who anybody was. I didn't recognize any faces. I just saw a lot of men, a lot of women. And in tuxedos and ball gowns, that kind of stuff. And I was walking through the party. And there was a bunch of people sitting around a table. And... One of them had a bear on a leash. Which I remember stopping and, and looking at going, wow, what, what's going on here? And this bear, as soon as it recognized me, it wanted to lunge at me. But whoever was holding the leash, and I didn't get to see who was holding the leash. I'd never saw any face, which was quite interesting. I've, I've been thinking about it all morning because I was trying to recognize who they were but I couldn't even tell who was holding the leash and all of those things are very very telling you guys uh, not being able to see a face is after praying on it telling me that it's it's everyone it's the world it's not a particular person it's it's a sect of people and for me to really concentrate on, on the party and the details of the party and how it was in a big, expensive mansion and how it was full of upscale, powerful people and one of them holding a bareback. And right away, um, I know it's always about looking at it through the spiritual and the symbolism. And so I was thinking to myself, okay, well, right away the bear means Russia to me. And the funny part of the dream is God reminded me that I'm Ukrainian. And uh, I thought it was quite amazing that this bear is on a leash and, you know, wanting to attack Ukraine. But then he put on my spirit again to, to understand biblically who the bear is and it's Persia. And modern day Persia is Iran. And when I really started praying on it, I could see this party being the, the New World Order, and that the New World Order is holding Iran on a leash, just waiting to give its command so that it, it can attack God's people. And so. It was brief. It, was, it wasn't very long, but it was vivid. And there was a stretch a little while back where I was having I, I probably 30 days in a row of vivid dreams. And now it's been a while, uh, but here we go again. You know, I've, I've got one that definitely stuck out to me. Because normally when you dream, you guys, a lot of times you kind of forget it in the morning or whatever the case may be. But God will always, always have you remember something that he wants you to remember, whether it be now or later or whatever the case may be. Now I'm uh, I'm getting ready to go home here. We're driving because I can't fly. Um, my uh, my dad's got a little bit of time left, you guys, and, and we're gonna go and uh, and spend a week with him, my wife and daughter and I. And uh, there's a lot of hatred going on in my family right now uh, between the two sides, and that's exactly where the devil wants us. And I'd be lying to you, brothers and sisters, and I'd be lying to God if, if, I, uh, if I didn't say that it, it has got the best of me at some times. And I repent for that. And as I was praying this morning about what I was going to talk to you guys about, um, my one sister that there's an issue with, uh, she's on the, the third round side. And... Um, you know, there's a lot of conspiring behind my back 
you know, basically talking about my family and I and how we're unclean and not fit to be around. And my nephew hadn't talked to my mom and dad for, it was coming up on 11 years. And, and finally now they're, they're, they're back having a relationship together. And, you know, my nephew came to me and confided to me about, you know, what he should do and how he should do it. And, and so we worked through it together. And then to find out that there uh, was a lot of conversations that were being said about us, my family and I, behind our backs, is all to cause strife, you guys. And they're all beautiful opportunities. You know, I could sit back and, and, and get angry about how, you know, how confused they are and, uh, you know, how, how could they do this, especially after this? And, and, and evil, it doesn't matter, you guys. It, it, evil doesn't operate that way. It tears apart everything it can at every opportunity. And so we have to stop looking at these people as the, as the flesh, as the... And, and it always comes back to me. Forgive them, Father, for they don't know, know what they do. And I know they don't know what they're doing. I know that. They're scared. And... As I was getting ready this morning, my sister messages me and my other sister. And so I messaged her back and I just said, you know, I, we have to stop treating each other like enemies. We're supposed to love one another. Love thy neighbor as thyself, I quoted. And she goes to church. She goes to a four wall church what her relationship is with Jesus, that's between her and Jesus. I, I, I'm not here to judge it because I don't know it. I know the devil tries to tell me what, what I think it is, but he can get lost too. Now my other sister, I need you to pray for her. Because she hasn't responded yet. And uh, my sister and I were very, very similar when it came to harnessing the other side. And I'm very fearful that she's going to... Uh, She's going to say some very, very harsh words. I told her to be gentle. But this has all kind of been boiling, brothers and sisters. And you might ask, you know, why am I sharing all this? Well, this is the point of this channel, you guys. is for us to share with one another in our rawest of forms. You know, all of these people that have platforms... You know, we have a tendency to look at them through the eyes of whatever they're preaching, not understanding that we're all human beings and we do fall down daily, all the time. And I want to come to you today, brothers and sisters, and if you've got any kind of relationship that's strained right now, whether it be because of what's happening in the world and we all know that is the purpose of it. it. It is a military strategic tactic to divide and conquer. And it's working. But if there's anybody in your life that you, you've lost contact with, whether it be a friend or a family member, whoever it is, now's the time to try and make amends. I didn't do so well this morning, you guys. But I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up what I should have done is I should have stepped back from that message and, and prayed on it longer and waited to let God respond and not me. But I want to tell you today that it's never too late, you guys. So I'm going to sit and I'm going to wait and I'm going to pray on it. And then when the timing is right, when God commands me, I'm going to message her back and, uh, hopefully start to mend the terrors that are happening right now because it's uh, the devil likes to sucker punch you guys he's the dirtiest of dirty fighters he wants you to turn your back because it's easy he doesn't want to fight you face to face so don't let that happen you guys either way I just wanted to say hi it's going to be a short week for me today. We're going to be leaving bright and early Friday morning, uh, and I will definitely be away for off of this for 
for well over a week. And if you don't see me from now till then, please know that I love you all very much. Keep praying for me. Prayers help you guys. They do. We don't see when or we don't see, see how sometimes, but they do help. Because God's listening. He's here right now with us. So, I love you all very much. Um, have a blessed day, you guys. And, uh, yeah, Father willing, I'll do another one as soon as I can. Take care.